And welcome back guys, we're going to be playing some more Dying Light 2 side questing. Uh, so we're going to be doing the Curious X next. Make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the support button. We're going to do a bit of exploring once we get all these side quests and we're just left with challenges, then we'll get ready to do the second gameplay. Anyways, let's get into it. He says. I have a letter for you. Ooh, look at this envelope, Berto. So pretty. I bet it's a wedding invitation. God, I hope not. My tux rotted away years ago. How oh, hush. Yep, it's a wedding. And can you believe it? 
Garrett! You know him. Of course I do. What's he getting married for? That kid's played women like a loose game of three-card Monty for a while now. Stop. It's some girl named Cordelia. Cordelia? <laughs> I remember her from somewhere. You asked me, that girl was selling not so much goods, but plenty of services, if you know what I mean. Oh, you're terrible. I'm sure she's very sweet and they'll make a great couple. If you say so. But I don't want to go to their wedding. That marriage will be over in a month. And besides, my tux rotted away years ago. Oh, don't you worry. It's an announcement, not an invitation. Oh, so they're just rubbing our noses in their so-called love. Well, I can live with that. It means we don't have to buy gifts. Besides, my tux... Oh, will you just please shut up about your tux? Died. You deserve a reward, man. Carrier's Guild here with a letter. Thank you so much, son. So kind of you to bring it. Of course, ma'am. Happy to be a f I don't get much in the way of visitors. I'm sorry to- How's the bazaar these days? Still bustling? Oh, how it smelled. Some thought it rank, but not me. It's been so long. Well, at least you have people writing to you. To tell you stories of the world outside your flat. Yes, yes. I'm a lucky woman at that. <laughs> Listen to me bending your ear. Forgive an old woman. I'll let you go. No trouble at all, ma'am. How's Mrs. Krasinski today, Carrier? She seemed fine, I guess. Why? Oh, I'm just wondering. She's all alone. Got no one. I worry about her. 
Well, I, I just delivered a letter, so she must have someone. But not really. I mean, I talk to her, but I also send those letters for her. The only other people she gets to talk to are you carriers. I had no idea. You're not supposed to, but I've been thinking lately. If something happens to me, who's going to look in on Mrs. Krasinski? She's so alone. I just thought you should know. Thanks. Aiden, we have a situation. What's going on? Another ambush. This time it's Jack. He just radioed an SOS. Oh, shit. Look, I know you guys don't get along, but... It doesn't matter. Just tell me where he is. I'm sending you the coordinates. Okay, I'm on it. If he calls again, tell him I'm on my way. Here, there's no sign of Jack. Not even much of a struggle. Knock on some doors. See if anyone heard or saw anything. There's a family nearby. What do you want? I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I need your help. What kind of help? A fellow carrier was attacked nearby. Did you hear or see anything? Yes, I saw something. What I saw convinced me that it's death for me to tell another soul. You have nothing to fear. The Carrier's Guild will protect you. Can you? You want to protect us? Try clearing this floor of the infected. 
You know what it's like to live in a dark zone when monsters are lurking outside your front door all the time? My family and I are in enough danger without you added to our worries. So leave me be. Ask someone else. I'll clear them out. And you'll help me then? I'm sure you mean well, kid. But even if you succeeded, more would move in soon. You'll probably just get yourself killed in the process. Well, it's worth a shot. You got nothing to lose. You're either crazy or desperate. But do it. If you survive, come back. And we'll talk. It's me. The infected are gone. For now. You've slain them? All of them? All of them. So you have. Fine then. I will tell you of your friend. He was surprised by masked men. He couldn't even put up much of a fight. They just overwhelmed him and dragged him into a nearby building. Is it inhabited? I don't believe so. Except for the infected, of course. Great. Okay, thank you. You may have saved a life today. And you have provided my family a respite from constant terror. Even if it lasts only for one night, we will be eternally grateful. like you carriers are as reliable as your reputation. Or should I say, predictable? I predict I'm gonna beat your ass. You're having a party and you didn't invite me. I'm hurt. What the? Derek, the prodigal carrier. So you are behind this after all. What are you talking about? I'm here to save your ass. Save your own ass. Kill them both, boys. This is a oh, shit hole. Yeah, you motherfucker. <laughs>
Thanks. Looks like I misjudged you. Same as everyone else. But, um... I told you I'd have my eye on you, Pilgrim. And I have. Especially since our first meeting. You're good. But when I saw you walking into a trap, I stepped in. I told you I'd be there when you slipped up. Look, I, I guess I took it the wrong way. Okay. So you're not the one hunting down carriers? No. But I've been investigating. I've concluded it's someone on the inside. Fuck. Any idea who? I have my suspicions, but for now, I'm going after Jack. But you were following him too? Yeah, but I lost him after he was dragged in here, and then you showed up. He can't be far. Calling all carriers. HQ is under attack. Nearby carrier to HQ immediately. We need help! Oh, fuck. That's Driscoll. We gotta get back to HQ. Let's divide and conquer. You head to HQ and I'll find Jack. Okay, uh, radio in when you find him. I'm heading to HQ. Watch yourself, Pilgrim. And good luck. Welcome to the Dead Letter Office, punk. Good thing you showed up when you did. 
Well, if it weren't for Derek, I wouldn't have made it at all. Derek? But I thought... And so did I. But turns out all he wants is to come back to the guild. And killing carriers isn't the way to do it. Then who's behind all this? Now Derek believes it's someone on the inside. I agree. Yeah, I find that hard to believe. Driscoll, you gotta come see this. Jaime. I can't believe it. He had to be working for someone. He couldn't pull this off on his own. With personalities like Jack and Derek around, his nice guy routine kept him off everyone's radar. Ethan, it's Derek. I found Jack. He's dead. Now his killers are too, but I beat a confession from one of them before finishing him off. And what did you learn? Jaime was working for Waltz. Waltz is behind this? Waltz? I didn't see that coming. Thanks, Derek. Gather Jack's things if you can. I'll be in touch. Roger that, Pilgrim. So what is Waltz after? Destroying the carriers to disrupt the network? Waltz isn't a destroyer. He wants to control the network. He wants our archives all to himself. I've heard about the Carrier's Bible. Is there more? A lot more. Maps, other books, vast quantities of intel gathered over the years. Every little detail about the city and the surrounding areas as well. And Waltz is no doubt trying to gather complete information about the city. Maybe about its citizens. He's looking for something and I need to know what. I need to see the archives. That's information reserved for only the highest ranks of the Carrier's Guild. However, You've more than proven yourself. Earned your place among our elite carriers. Come on. Your time has come, Hotshot. Welcome to the top tier of the Carrier's Guild ranks. Not bad for a pilgrim. You are, officially, the elite of the elite. The best of the best of the very best of the Guild. Our secrets are now your secrets. To honor this occasion, I have something for you. Congratulations, Hotshot. And to think what you were when you joined. Some snotty-nosed little punk. And what you are now. A carrier. <laughs> Makes me proud. With your fearless dedication and service, you've earned the right to ask of the rest of us how we can serve you. You get one favour, so ask away. And make it good, hotshot. I asked that Derek be reinstated as a carrier. He saved my life and even as an outcast had this guilt's back. He admits to his mistakes and I believe he'll work hard to make up for him. Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. We'll restore Derek immediately. Thank you. From now on, treat me like an open book. There is probably a great deal that you'd like to know. Want answers, Hotshot? Now's your chance to ask. Meet me in the canteen. If I really am to thank you, I want to date in person. A question for you, Professor. Ask away. So, what's the real story on the Night Runners? Who were they? Heroes to most. Started out pretty simple. A group of soldiers who became infected during a mission. Now, usually, 
Infection spelled the end of a military career. Too much risk, especially with so many night operations. However, around this time, the military created something called inhibitors. Not only did they prolong the time you could spend in the dark, but also greatly enhanced motor skills and other senses. The downside was the side effects of inhibitors. They kicked the crap out of most people if they didn't outright kill you. Given a choice, most soldiers took the risk to remain in active duty and to continue to make a difference in the battle. That's why people consider them heroes. Not just because they did so much to help so many, but because they joined the revolution on the people's behalf. They were the real deal, Aiden. That's quite a story. Nothing right now. Next time. Thanks, Aiden. You don't know what being back in the guild means to me. Don't thank me. You proved yourself. Maybe. But you made it happen. Here. Take this. What's that? Eh, a little toy I whipped up for myself. I want you to have it. I call it Deliverance. And it's yours. Holy shit. Look at this. Thanks, man. Use it in good health. Or I'll find your corpse and steal it back, Pilt. Aiden. Roger that. You take care, Derek.
But anyways, this looks like a good place to stop. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the support button. I'll see you guys in the next one.